So I am Eugene Rodriguez. I teach at De Anza College. Uh, it's a Design 12 color and design class. And the project was to take uh, inspiration from some readings regarding uh, the United States and its economy regarding war, war funding, and then to do some research into corporations and their um, tie-in to uh, the war economy. And with that, they had to redesign a dollar bill uh, that spoke to that with whatever their research came up with. I think just the need to express what I feel is not being expressed um, in society in any way, shape, or form. That could be regarding politics, it could be regarding social, um, social developments. I think just the need to, to, to just express things. Yeah, they're not being expressed in society. Would you No, I would say that my work is about what I see in society not expressed, mm -hmm. whatever that is. When you say society not expressed, are you are you I talking about? I would probably about say popular media, newspapers, even. books, music. I would say anything that's not being expressed in society um, that I think that I think is important for society to, in this case, see, mm -hmm. because I make visual art. That's what. I'm so how do your students um, grapple with these societal ills and, and art? How, how, do they, how do they embrace it? Well, I think one of the ways that I see my role as an artist working in uh, public education at the college level, I think, is to introduce my students, first of all, to the whole idea of critical thinking. Uh, and with critical thinking comes critical reading, and with critical reading comes critical seeing. So it's in part teaching visual literacy, in part teaching critical thinking skills, uh, and how I structure the assignments around both of those topics. Um, and along with that has to be technique. They have to learn technically how to paint, uh, and also how to critique their projects in a visual sense. Is uh, critiquing hard? Uh, what that part of the process when it comes down to self-examining and assessing where you are uh, how well does that go over with students? Oh I think the students like it a lot I think is it easy if you're asking that no it's not easy at all um, I think for a human being to reflect upon where they are at any given point in time is if you're not taught how to do that if you're not shown uh, it's extremely difficult um, even when shown how to do it it can be extremely painful because you're asking that person to be honest in assessment. Mm -hmm. Where are they with their skills? Where are they with their uh, ability to paint? Where are they with their own, uh, their own critical thinking skills? Um, it's all of it is a challenge, which I think they find exciting. Mm -hmm. So they come away with a sense of humility as well. I would hope so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the key ingredients of being able to grow. It's definitely to have humility. Okay. Um, I think I'm pretty excited and proud of what they did on that wall in the Ufront Museum. Um, I think uh, quite a few of them, of the students, really had to think about what, what they, the assignment they were given. Uh, quite a few of them expressed that they had not been, they had not done this type of assignment before. And I think working with color, working with painting skills, uh, working with subject matter regarding war, um, and who funds war, uh, what is the cost of war for all of us, not only in the economic sense, but in a psychological sense, uh, dealing with U.S. imperial practices, wh what are the, uh, the ramifications of those practices on not only um, the U.S. citizenry, but also on the rest of the world, and I think they really got a sense of um, what it was to put all of that into art making. Mm -hmm. do, you, 
Do you feel, as many uh, do, that the U.S. government is in some ways proclaiming war on its own citizens through the use of surveillance and drones and what have you? Do I personally? Yes. Uh, yeah, I definitely think so. Um, imperial practices, I think, by its own nature, causes that government, in this case the U.S. government, to um, to some way police its own citizenry. Um, for what purposes? Um, fear, keeping in line, keeping its citizenry in line, um, so that possibly the citizenry can't act. Um, yeah, I do think that's it's a form of um, terror toward its own citizenry. Are you concerned about it? Oh, completely. Um, I think that's what, all of my projects here now are, are under the banner of democracy and art project. So, um, both of which I think are in trouble. So I think the more that students, this being college and being definitely public education, uh, requires students to be able to think about all of these things that you and I have been discussing um, through art, because I think art has the potential to really uh, awaken by its visual nature mm -hmm. that the students um, are making things, projects that people will look at and have to contemplate and ponder hopefully for longer than they are there at the exhibit. Excellent. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome.